What's up? 14-1 start now. Three more regular season games to take on. Let me check. Yes. Playing at home against the Hammers, the leading team in the, um, what's it's called? The Driveway Conference at 9-6. and six. It's a big matchup for us. We've already faced the Trash Shockers, Monsters, Scrubs, Hackers. Hot. We've faced, I believe, every team in the Driveway Conference. Apart from those hammers, as we have two more divisional games coming up after this. So let's get going. Let's try to continue our defensive shutdowns. 22 points, 14, 27, 18, and 8 in the uh, past five out, of six, uh, 5 out of 6 games. So let's get going now. Try to see if we can continue that. So get our normal lineup going. Put Stretch at the center. Just send it down low. Let's check out their lineup. They have Annie Frazier, who's not a bad inside shooter, but she doesn't have much else. Billie Jean Blackwood, a beast down low. Great defender as well, so... Gonna watch out for those two players. Try to shut them down. But the hackers in my eyes have kind of always been like the Lakers. You got the purple and yellow, always in the non the conference that I'm not in. The Western Conference, in my eyes. Uh, and they're always a great team, always a powerhouse. So Billie Jean Blackwood trying to work it down low, and somehow they get it across court. That's high off the backboard, and that's gonna drop in after it's tipped by stretch. Get that to Jacinda. Whoa, Randy Uno. Pizzeria Uno. Randy Uno Dos. And another foul on those hammers. They are hammering us. Fitting to the word. And that's stolen. Looks like Randy Uno. Stolen by Jacinda. Back at ya. All at your boy. And out to Vicky. And that's going to be an easy lane for her. Two points. Our first two points of the game. And I think this is our second to last home game of the year. In the regular season, obviously going to be starting off the playoffs at home um, with our first um, first number one seed at Sandy Flats, and this is kind of the the most similar this layout is um, to another Sandy Flats in any of the backyard games. Is backyard baseball 05. Every other Sandy Flats out there. Come on now, let's get it behind off that uh, not at the backboard because the the previous Sandy Flats are not like this there are no buildings around other than that one like warehouse deep deep in left field and then way out straight away center is that kind of like beach home but there's no boardwalk out there the only time there's a boardwalk in any of the uh, backyard games uh, at Sandy Flats is in 2005 which is a very very short porch into left field and right uh, may I add so I'm gonna try to get this a stretch trying to get him a good uh, good game here after his, oh, and that's not going to be working. After his five assist game in the previous one. Maybe he had more. I know he had at least five. And that's down low. That's a mismatch. Billie Jean Blackwood's got an easy two points for her. So get it to Jocinda. And I'm going to oh, I'm gonna keep it for one more possession in a defensive stand uh, before I call a timeout. Get it over to Stretch. And he's going to have an easy two points for him there. So easy buckets for Big Fro. I love the three beach chairs, the five beach chairs, though. That, 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 that adds some flavor to the court. And once again, I always, and I'm going to, let's see if I can call a timeout. No, not at this stoppage. We got height. They got height, too, and that's another block. Three fouls on stretch. I'm going to have to get him on the pine. Billie Jean Blackwood, extracurriculars there. And that is not how you want to start off the front end. Uh, your two free throws. The second one is up, and she banks it home. Time for me to time out. Uh, and stretch. Um, you're gonna have to take a rest. You're gonna need one, and you're fouling like crazy. And we'll put Stephanie on in. Get multi-purpose. Just send it down low. So I guess the only time I would have Joe send up like uh, guard would have stretches in the game, and so is Ahmed. And that's two points for Stephanie. Always filling the hole that Vicky Kawaguchi's absent creates for us. Doing a great job this year. And that's a steal by Jocinda. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. And that one's off the side of the backboard. Our second one of the game. And that's a steal by Ahmed Khan. Getting the ball poked around in there. Headphone man. Getting amped by his music. He puts it up. He has a chance for the three-point play. That's not going to fall. So he's going to get two from the charity stripe for himself. First one's up, and he banks that one home. I guess he called it. Second one is up. Second one is down. So two for Ahmed Khan. Shooting a little bit better from the line the last uh, last couple games. 
definitely ending our point total. And for the first time, it seems like two backyard players uh, are in the game for the other team at once. They, they don't like to sub in their backyard players or start them a lot of the time. And that's a great fast break steal by Jocinda Smith. And we were expecting a dunk. Not getting the dunk, though. We got a nine-point lead now against the Hammers. Who we could see if we do play successfully the first two rounds of the play. We, who we could see in the championship. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves as Billie Jean Blackwood dials went off. Looked good, but it was way off to the left. And we have a 14-5 lead heading into the second quarter of this game. And I'll leave this lineup in. Pretty successful for me there. And they all pretty good energy, pretty amped up. The lanes do look a little skinny in this game. I'm going to have to say that. And Jacinda might as well take it to the hole. Take it to the rack, take it to the cup, whatever you want. And Annie Fraser's hairdo. It's an interesting one. It's kind of like a slide, I'd say, a snow drift maybe. A snow drift haircut. Like a flat top haircut. It's in style now. And that's a steal by defensive juggernaut. Steffi Morgan, defensive juggernaut. Billie Jean Blackwood up with it, and she knocks it home, doing her bread and butter her inside game or mid range jumper. So back to a nine point uh, deficit for the Hammers. Stephanie Morgan pushes it ahead. Stephanie Morgan gets two points for herself. No need for other teammates, I guess. Two easy points for us. And this game's going flying by right now. Already almost four minutes uh, expired in this game. Justina Smith with an easy pop. That's off the back iron. Ahmed Khan guarding at the timeline. It passes Andy Frazier down low. That's not going anywhere. Stephanie Morgan steals it. Other free throw line back to Ahmed Khan. That's a nice uh, play by those two down low in the paint in transition. Easy few points for Ahmed Khan. Stretching it to a 13 point lead, the biggest lead of the day. Stephanie Morgan, can she get back on defense? No, she can't. Instead, she compensates and fouls Billie Jean Blackwood, setting up the possibility for the three point play here. And uh, something was wrong there. And that's not what you want to see. A rebound off of a missed free throw giving them another opportunity. They cash in with four points on that possession. Thankfully, great pass by Jocinda Smith. Out to Ahmed Khan, who leads the break. Pass Red Corn Rose. Not the style I like. I guess if you're playing on an all-red team, but that just looks kind of gaudy. And we double them up now with our score. Time to get about Vicky Kawaguchi back in the game, I would say. Not the best ball handler out there, but that's a foul for us. Probably getting close to the bonus. And that's a pass to yourself if I've ever seen one. And that's a pass in traffic. Not one of the smartest plays that Jocinda Smith made all year. Billie Jean Blackwood is really playing her heart out. Her buns off today. So I'm going to sub in. Stretch for Jocinda. She's been in the whole game. Don't like to have the two-yard lineup, but I'm going to have to go with it right now. Right. I don't like inbounding it to stretch, but I have to go with it, and that's why I don't like inbounding it to stretch. So that one has got nothing but nylon for Billie Jean Blackwood. She's probably got around 12 points, I would say. Maybe even 14. So that is to Vicky. Might as well take it. Oh, and Vicky, the short girl, the three-footer, highlighting her 60-inch vertical, Vicky Lynn. The da dunk by Vicky Lynn. I love the da dunk. And Stephanie Morgan there reciprocating, trying to get a dunk for herself. Instead, she has a generous bone in her body, puts it up for stretch, and he has an opportunity for two points for himself. Doesn't happen for him there. In traffic, stretch gets the steal. Something we haven't seen too often this year. And it's stolen right back out of his hands. Something we've seen too much of. And uh, not sure who that guy is. Francesca Whitaker. And that one rolls off the front iron. Poked away by Vicky Kawaguchi. Put right up. Annie Frazier knocks it in under duress. Vicky Kawaguchi, three seconds left on the shot clock. See if you can't get a good shot off. That one's up and that one's late. And we only have a seven-point lead here going into halftime. Something we thought would be a bigger lead than only seven. Since we are leading 11 to 4 in steals, and but we are trailing in field goal percentage, although we've attempted six more. So let's see, we can sub in right now. Stretch gets a little, a uh, little blow, and we'll work that lineup. Get Ahmed at the guard, and a lineup that we've seen quite a bit of here in Game 16. Um, just send it down low. Stephanie at the point. 
and Ahmed running the forward. Kind of a small forward, I would say. So we get it out to Vicky. Try to work a little bit of the give and go. A little bit too far on that pass. Was trying to set up for a tray ball. Vicky Jocinda Smith, a runner in the lane. And she gets that one to roll in uh, after putting it off the top of the backboard. A little bit high in my eyes. And speaking of putting it high off the backboard, I was watching some of the rookie sophomore rising challenge last night, the BBVA rising challenge for the All-Star Weekend. Billie Jean Black with the 18-footer and the foul, and she knocks it home. Anyways, Blake Griffin had a nasty back to you dunk where he threw it one-handed off the top of the backboard and dunked it home. That game is not entertaining at all. I watched, I stopped watching it, and I instead watched a great game, 61-60 win by Marquette over West Virginia. Uh, after Junior Cadugan, Vander Blue, and Darius Johnson Odom were all suspended for the first half of the game by Buzz Williams, which is remarkable for them to go into Morgantown and win the game, uh, even after uh, benching their three starting point guards uh, for the first half, which is amazing. They came out and win, uh, came out and won. But Blake Griffin did have an, a, a nasty uh, back to you dunk high off the backward toss, and it was. A, Probably even too high or higher than he thought he would shoot, uh, throw it off the backboard. So Stephanie Morgan's here with a chance to knock two free throws in. She misses off the side of the rim there. And we're trying to get ourselves into double digits in terms of our lead again, but it's not happening. That one is up. That one's short. She misses both ends of the free throw. Jocinda Smith's there, and she's got an easy 10-footer uh, there, and she knocks it home, giving us a 30-20 lead now. So definitely the biggest uh, offensive onslaught we've seen by another team here. Probably because of my offensive inefficiency. Getting, they've getting some fast break points and some steals too. And I'm feeling a five second violation. Jocinda Smith high off the backboard. And if you ever get a steal, I've learned now, if you ever get a steal right off the inbound, you're going to have to take a step or dribble out first before you go up with the shot. Or else uh, you're going to get blocked and denied by the, uh, the board. 14 point lead. Biggest lead of the game now. If my stat sheet, see I don't have any media timeouts, so I, I don't have a stat sheet in front of me, but if my stat sheet in my mind doesn't lie, biggest lead of the game, and Stephanie Morgan with the steal, I'm going to dribble it a little bit, and Ackman's just getting smothered in the paint, so I'm going to call a timeout, let's get a sub in here, um, we'll get stretch in for Jocinda again, put Vicky at the point, uh, and then we'll go with that lineup, not the greatest court management, Stephanie Morgan and Jocinda are those two guys for me. Uh, Vicky Kyle is just going to have to be the leader now. And Stretch is there. He's driving to the paint, and that's the greatest move I've seen him uh, have so far this year. Not dribbling with the offhand, going only left, but that doesn't encumber him. Billie Jean Blackwood not playing the defense that she's been known to play in this league, not playing for the offhand. And she's on a fast break. That's right. And she dials one up from about 10 feet. Stretch with the rebound. Try to get it out of his hand quickly, but Annie Frazier is a little bit slower than him today. So is Blackwood. Marky Dubois not here to psych her up. Those two have a crush on each other, and Stretch knocks in one from the block. 18-point lead here. We've gone on a 10-0 run here. Stretch with the steal. Stretch with the putback. Stretch with two points, and we've doubled them up 40-20 to before you know it. Stretch with another steal. What a stretch. No pun intended. Four stretch, big man. And he puts one up again. That's money. Can he get another steal? No, he can't. But what a run. Probably the most points you've seen uh, put together in a string. And that's a foul. Is it called? It's called on Vicky Kawaguchi and Billy Jean Blackwood with the shot under the rest. She's really got that master down. Not as she is a good shooter from down low. She gets her own rebound and puts it back in, making it a 20 point deficit. A big deficit, but uh, better than what it was going into the fourth quarter, which we thought. So they are, we have not played a good game in managing the ball. They've got, we've gotten a lot of steals over them, but we've been turning the ball over quite a bit. So I'm going to check the scoreboard, see how many points Stretch has in this game. And he's got 14, he is leading the way. So I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to uh, reward him here and keep him in the game. Put Jocinda Smith down there and then... Stephanie, I'm going to keep Vicky in just because she hasn't had the greatest game in terms of points. And Stephanie's got three fouls. And that's a steal by Vicky Kawaguchi. And that's some points for Vicky. That's how she gets her buckets. 
putting a first basket in that she's had since that monstrous two-handed slam a ramo the da dunk and that's a steal by Joseph Smith reading it like a defensive back dishes it across the lane to uh, Vicky Kawaguchi and she's not tall enough there Joseph Smith with the turnover smothered down low and Annie Frazier with a aggressive foul another steal turnover by stretch Trying to get our hands in there, and Josina Smith with a foul. Kind of a shaky beginning to this uh, fourth quarter. Stretch playing good defense down low, and that looked like I was going to get a hand up in front of Andy Frazier's face. Not so much to get it ahead of Josina Smith. Stretch is wide open. Getting covered for, and that's knocked out of her hands. Try to get the stretch here. He puts up the eight-footer. He gets that one to roll, and that's 16 big points for Stretch, man. That's going to help his point average, and that's a poorly designed play there. And nowhere to go with this ball. Finally, the outlet uh, comes to me. Vicky Kawaguchi dribbles it down low. She flies right past Francesca Whitaker, the red-haired uh, cornrows, and we got 50 points once again. So a big stretch offensively and defensively for us. That'd be a long two for Vicky Kawaguchi. And another foul for Francisco Whitaker. Playing the aggressive style that I guess the Hammers do play. Nowhere to go here. Justin Smith out of bounds. I guess she touched it. And whoa. Some big hawks from Francisco Whitaker. Wasn't expecting her to get up and be able to make that play. We got a pretty comfortable lead now. We could probably just run out the clock. But I'm going to try to get my And apparently the out of bounds. Out of, oh, really? Apparently that pull is not part of out of bounds. Not really understanding the logic of that play. And then a foul by Annie Frazier. They got to be in the bonus here pretty soon here. And that's another foul by Annie Frazier. Not even enough time to have that register on the graphics screen. Vicky Kawaguchi is going to get to her 10 points for this game. 52 points for us. And I'm going to have to call a timeout here. I'm going to get Stephanie Morgan in for Vicky now. I'll get her a couple more minutes. She's been sitting on the bench for a while. I'm not too worried about um, her falling out anymore. So stretch. Recovers the ball, and I'm going to call a timeout. And I don't want him handling the ball too far. I don't want to go 94 feet with that ball, so we're going to lessen the chance of him turning it over. Uh, even though they got quite a bit of energy left, I'm just going to have to sub these guys in. Uh, check out Ahmed. He's got eight points. we got three guys in double figures. Have an opportunity to get everybody in double figures and maybe get stretched to 20 points here, which would be awesome. So I do have the ball. Get it out to stretch, and Billie Jean Blackwood. Great defender. Does she have the wheels? Does she have the energy with her? I don't think so. Stretch takes it to the hole, and that's two points for him. She's, he's got 18. Once I get in 20, we're definitely going to be going with Stephanie and Ahmed. See if we can't get all five players in double figures, which would be quite a feat. So my best defender trying to trying to get a steal. I do. Oh, not working out, but Ahmed back with – oh, it's stolen again. And that's going to be two points at the other end, 30 points for the hammer. And I have to go. I'm interrupted. I only have 28 seconds left, but you're just going to have to see me for the remaining 20 seconds uh, sometime later. So I'm getting interrupted right now. I'll see you guys back when I finish up game 16, uh, the next half of game part 16. Okay, so at this point, I know I have the win, but I don't just want the win. I want 20 points for my big man stretch. If I can't get past Billie Jean Blackwood, lays it in. 20 points for stretch. That's a milestone we haven't seen. I don't know if we've seen it all year yet. Ackman puts up a steal. He misses that. That was an opportunity for him to get, I think, 10 points, I think. So, stretch, you're going to get your hands in there? Not that time. 
So let's see if we can get, get a full court shot in for Ahmed. That one's dialed up. That one could go. That one won't go. Almost went into cra trash can. So, MVP, could it be stretch? Yes, it is. What a day. Never thought I'd see it, but it is here. Listen to what he has to say. Stretch. One last question. Do you think Sonny likes me? I mean, likes me, likes me? I just gave it 110. What did you say? Well put, my friend. And remember, kids, if you're up against a player of note and he starts to gloat, put 110% juice in your throat and you'll make him a goat. <laughs> all right, back to you, Sonny. All right, ladies and gents, that's all for now. For Barry to Jay, this is Sunny Day saying adios. Okay, so, Stretch... Coming out with the cliched answer, the PA, PR department um, told him to say that, I guess. Barry DJ coming out the wraps. But if you look at the stats, dominated them and field goals attempted. That allowed us to take the win. Obviously, they shot 6% better, but that's not going to make up the difference. Uh, we dominated in steals. Turnovers wasn't too great for us, but it uh, didn't hurt us as we came out with a 24-point victory. So now that, not that that game was huge, but it was a statement game. It stretch has 20 points in one game. I'm not sure if that's the most points we've had by anybody this season. Definitely a result of all those steals he got in succession. Game MVP as well. Stretch, playing ball. Playing ball, and we got another win. Now we're on a five-game winning streak. Sorry for whoever bought tickets to game 11 against the Chuckers at home. That was our only loss. It was at the buzzer beater, no less, though. So we knocked off the... Uh, driveway conference leaders now that they're behind the uh, trash chuckers that makes us feel good but now we have business to take care of we got two more games to stay motivated for against our division foes three pointers and the bricks the bricks are five and eleven playoff hopes not looking too good for them and the three pointers are four and twelve so we should be able to take two more victories out as we go on the road to take the three time three pointers in game 17 i'll see you guys then thanks for watching 16.